Hey there guys and welcome back to Circuit Breaker for Stage 6 where we're going to be at the Dubai Autodrome. This stage is called Electric Converter. Ahmed won't be so easy to convince into supporting the electric car. He's a diehard who romantically loves the smell of fumes. He won't be so easy to beat in a race either. That's right my friends, I won't lose. The roar of the engine is a true expression of freedom and power. You will not prove anything to me about electric vehicles. My mind is made. The only way to unmake Ahmed's mind is to win. Let's get going, catch up Ahmed and overtake him. Sounds simple, right? Well, this took me quite a lot of tries, so uh, let's go through this together. Now, we start near the end of lap zero. Yeah, so you, you can't go round that hairpin as fast as you may think. So yeah, be wary of that. But this corner, you can go around it faster than you may think. Uh, that was nowhere near maximised. So we're going to pass by the uh, the Valkyrie. And then full throttle through the last corner, right past the Koenigsegg. And then the Koenigsegg will catch up easily. Just block it off. Now, full throttle through corner one and two. And three, and four, and five, and six. Only at corner seven will you have to start breaking. Now we can go around the outside of these LMP1 cars and then hang, hang on to the slipstream of that Koenigsegg for a bit, but it just flies away because, well, it's a Koenigsegg. Uh, we're going to outbreak the Toyota TSO40 and go down the inside. And Koenigsegg's are really bad in corners. So, well, comparatively. Uh, now we are coming up behind this, uh, this Aston Martin Valkyrie. And we should be able to overtake in the next corner around the outside. Yes. And they'll be able to give us a push up the tr up the uh, the straight, hopefully, on the beginning of lap two. Uh, I've forgotten what place Ahmed is in. Let me just check. Okay, I've just checked. Ahmed is actually in first place, so this is still going to be a tight one. Um, so yeah, just. Push the car to its limits, and you will catch up. Uh, going around the outside of the Valkyrie. How many Aston Martin Valkyries are there in this? Uh, that's another one. In a very nice orange. Anyway, hooking up behind for as long as possible. Uh, it's going to fly away. But we're going to catch up in the hairpin here. And... Okay. Oh, bumped into him a little bit. Okay, look. There's Santos in front of Santos is Ahmed. And we're near the end of the lap. So hopefully we can get past him. All we need to do is not mess up. And hopefully we can catch up. Oh, kind of messed up that corner. And... Oh, will we be able to catch him? You know what, let's just die for it. As soon as you get into first, the event ends, so uh, yeah, you can do kind of crazy things like that. Uh-oh, he has a Valkyrie. I was worried we might be racing something like that. <laughs> We're in trouble now. The Valkyrie is a worthy competitor to the IBR. Keep up, slip street Ahmed for 3,281 yards and then finish the event with an average speed of 143 miles an hour. Whoa, that's a lot. But, it is actually quite easy. So, we need to draft behind Ahmed for 3,281 yards while also hitting the minimum speed requirement. So, he is using a Valkyrie, as we established in the last goal. So, we've got to catch up in the corners. So, 
The best way to do that is break early for the corners and then accelerate early out of them so that you get more speed out of them. Okay, so on the straight, he's just going to whiz off. Uh, let's see how much I can get up to before we lose contact. That's Okay, only 200 yards left and that will be gone just like that. So, yep, and then we can overtake him and focus on our average speed requirement. Bumping into the back of him. Okay, and oh, not really the optimal line, but I had to get past him as soon as possible. Okay, so now you've got to meet average speed requirement. If you're having trouble hitting your average speed requirement, then I recommend, where possible, uh, take the outside line of a corner, if your car will allow you to do so, uh, while still being flat out, then you will get some more speed. Okay, and whoa, okay, so once again, in this stage, we have to deal with back markers, and they are incredibly slow, because back marker cars are not only typically less upgraded, they're also, they also slow down uh, a crap ton for the corners, so you've got to be really aware of that. Anyway, uh, this corner is probably the hardest to optimize. There's not really any um, kind of uh, breaking point prompts that you can use there. So, uh, yeah, even after doing it for so long, I'm a bit hazy on that one. And it feels a bit, you know, hit and miss. Um... If you kind of want to get like breaking points and stuff, there's a lot more in-depth videos on YouTube. Um, okay, just checking the average speed requirement so that I don't break it. And way that was very close to uh, failing there. <laughs> yeah, don't cut it that close. Your tires are stuck to the road. Incredible. Let us race. Just us. Everyone else, pull over. It's time for your head-to-head -head with Ahmed. You're fully charged. Now, when Ahmed said pull over, they really took that in a literal sense. So, uh, I'm going to show you a little failed attempt here. Now, I definitely wasn't expecting this. Look. So I got really close to one of them, and look at that. <laughs> that, that would, that's a cool photo opportunity right there. Which I'm sad I didn't take, because that would have been a great thumbnail shot. Anyway, let's go to the first corner, and whoopow! Let's get down in slow motion. Ooh, that must have been painful. Anyway, once you're aware um, about the positioning of the cars, then you should be good. Uh, and I'm going to be talking through that. So there's no cars on the last corner, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, on either side of the main straight, there are two cars, so watch out for them. And now, go deeper into the first corner, because... There's one right on the outside, ready to catch you. There's one on the outside there. As you see, I'm making rapid movements to uh, get away from them. Luckily, this car is not unsettled. There's a car parked up on the outside of that corner, which is nice and out of the way. Um, okay, there's one there, one there. Uh, we're already caught up to Ahmed. Uh, so now we've got a... Go around here. And let's see. Are there any more that would catch you out? None here. Hmm, there haven't been any for a while. 
Oh, there's one on the inside there. Be careful. I let him pass, but I'm just going to storm down the inside in the next corner. And that's all of them. And we're ahead of Ahmed. Let's let him catch up a bit. Or, yeah. But not too much, because you don't want to accidentally fail the stage and do that again. That would be even more painful than that crash earlier. It seems I was wrong. That is a truly magnificent machine. Good luck with your record attempt, my friend. We have Ahmed's blessing to make an attempt at beating his lap speed record. Now this stage is very similar to the uh, lap speed record at uh, Hockenheim. So that means we get to go backwards again so that we don't have to start from zero miles an hour. But be careful because the car is very slippery when going backwards. Uh, so I'd rather turn around and actually drive forwards but backwards around the track. Anyway, get a good distance back. Uh, preferably back there. Because that's where your last braking point is of the entire lap. So you get maximum speed onto this lap. So instead of starting at 0 miles an hour, we're starting at 166 miles an hour. Which gives you a lot of time to work with. So now I'm going to tell you when I'm going to break. Not exactly, but the corners I'm going to break at. So I'm going to break at this corner here. For like a second if that and then we're going to be flat through all of this and now we're on the straight and you can actually cut that really tight and already get that left hand side line ready for the next corner and I yeah I start breaking like a, a little like quite a little bit before the banner Anyway, you also break through here as well. Um, then you break for this corner very late. Like you break as you turn in, kind of like the hairpin at Spa, but the other way around. And now there's no breaking until the end of the lap, but we have so much time left that I'm going to do it anyway. Four, three, two, one, yeah. Okay, there we go. So, we've completed stage six. Not too bad, was it? Anyway, uh, the rewards for this uh, stage are 1,000 VP, 25 gold, and 100,000 R dollars. That's pretty good. That's another record in the bag. Woohoo! Well done. Amazing driving, my friend. Electric cars aren't fast. They are really, really fast. Let me join your team. I need to test drive one of those things. Now, I know I've pretty much said this every single time since day 3 but seriously, thank you for the support on this series. It is absolutely insane. You know, thanks for watching. Please do leave a like if you enjoy or if you found this helpful. Subscribe for definitely more Real Racing 3 content now. Uh, and yeah, I will see you for the final stage where we're going to earn the Volkswagen ID. See you later.